Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Hill Farmstead Brewing. This is their Dharma Bum. And guys, before we get into this, I do appreciate everybody stopping by. Uh, means the world to me. Uh, I mean, it would be a useless for me to sit here and nobody watch. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. I, it is very much appreciated. Uh, this was sent to me by Greg. Uh, he's up in that neck of the woods because these guys are up in Vermont. Uh, I think he's over in Massachusetts, so that has access to getting over there to the, these breweries. So, uh, and he writes on this one, uh, Dharma Bum from Hill Farmstead. So, guys, these guys are doing some canning now. He would just prefer 16 ounce four packs to 12 ounce six packs. Well, I'm on the other side of that fence. I would just prefer. 12 ounce six packs as opposed to 16 ounce four packs and the reason for that is my reason is that way I can have it six different days if you've only got a four pack even though it's 16 ounces you can't save that four ounces I mean you have to drink all of that 16 ounce so uh, and secondly if you're getting four 16 ounces uh, you're only getting 64 fluid ounces of beer in those four cans. If you're getting five 12 ounces, you're getting 72. So uh, if you're not paying a whole lot more for the four pack, I mean for the six pack, to me it's worth buying six individuals. You get more beer, plus you get the opportunity to have it six different days instead of four. That's my reasoning for it. So, but anyway, everybody's different. So I appreciate his opinion, and that was fine. So let me mark that off so we can jump into this beer. Uh, Hill Farmstead does some awesome beers, guys. I mean, I, I consider them just like Treehouse and Trillium and a bunch of others that make these uh, really tasty beers. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a juice bomb yet, guys. Uh, uh, we're going to find out here in just a minute. Uh, let's jump over it. This is only a 6%er now, guys, so it's very easy. Not quite to the session beer being a 6%er, but uh, should be fairly easy drinking. Uh, shouldn't get too inebriated off of one or two of these, I would think. Uh, and then we don't have the IBUs. I jumped over to Untapped, and uh, a lot of these New England breweries don't like to give you that information. So it's a secret. So uh, with that being said, uh, uh, their commercial description says American Sim Simcoe Single Hop IPA. Simcoe is an awesome hop, guys. I've brewed with it. Uh, very, very tasty hop. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So uh, first beer of the day, and I'm thirsty. It's about... It got up to about 85 degrees today. I, guess I tell you guys, it goes from 30 to 90. And I think they're calling for a 90 on Thursday. So it was 38 Monday night, and now it's going to be 90 on Thursday. In a span of three days, we go from 30s to 90s. That's how it is around there. And it'll be that way in the fall again. I mean, we'll go from 90s back down to the 30s and then about a week. So uh, let's jump into it here, guys. Enough clapping. Let's start pouring. All right, while I pour this, I'm going to tell you the cuisine is curried in the Thai cheese and pepper, Monterey pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I'll add grilled meat to that. Glassware to pint, back tonic, tonic, tumbler, uh, mug, stein, sidel. I got my favorite tulip blast today, guys, and uh, not recommended for extended salarings. So drink them fresh. And these guys want you to drink them fresh. And they are putting a can on date on this. And as a matter of fact, we're going to jump into that before I go. About a half a finger of head on that. Looks very cloudy, very unfiltered. Looks like a juice bomb to me, guys. I wanted to bring this up on the bottom of it. It says canned on April the 16th of 2018. And underneath that it says drink by 
May 29th or 28th. It looks like it's either 8 or 9 of 2018. So they're only giving this thing about a five week, six week maximum shelf life. That's how quick they want you to have this beer. So very reminiscent of the 39 days that Stone does their enjoy by. So six weeks, five to six weeks shelf life. Uh, awesome. Two thumbs up, ten thumbs up to those guys for that. Drinking fresh. That's what they're trying to emphasize there. Uh, so, and that's the way I, that's the way I, I believe the same thing. Drink them especially, you know, I mean, you know, if you can get them one day old, and a lot of you guys do that are up there in, uh, in New England and, and can get to the breweries and get these beers that are brewed the same day or the day before, that's freaking awesome. That is absolutely outstanding. It doesn't get any better than that. So, all right, guys, like I said, it looks like a, it's not a bright orangey orange juice. It is uh, very cloudy, but it looks like it's a, a watered down version of some orange juice. So like maybe some grapefruit juice throw it in there to water it down a little bit. So let's get it to the nose. All right, Simcoe, single hop version of this. Very citrusy on the nose. Hints of grapefruit and pineapple. Oranges, mango, very nice smelling. Absolutely outstanding aroma on this beer, guys. And today is eight, uh, May the 1st. So this was done on the 16th. It's about two weeks old. Pretty damn fresh. I just got these a uh, uh, couple days ago from Greg. So uh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Very delicious, guys. For six percent by the taste there. Usually, I prefer. Uh, the seven and up range, uh, seven percent for my singles and eight and above for the doubles, because it seems like it has just a little bit more taste. It's more more malt base, uh, more hops to balance out that more malt base. So, uh, but for six percent, awesome taste. Very easy drinking. Not getting any alcohol whatsoever. Absolutely delicious, guys. I would probably buy this beer, even though it's just a six percenter. I don't buy a lot of six percenters. Uh, for the quality of the beer that I'm getting and tasting, I would probably buy this if I could get it here. It's that impressive to me. So, well, let's try it out of the fridge before I sit here and drink it all. Let me let her taste it, and then we'll come back and uh, give this thing a grade. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on about thirty minutes. A little bit of lacing is left on the glass. A very tasty beer, guys. Uh, for a six percenter, a lot of hop aroma in here. Like I said earlier, uh, you could probably have one or two of these and not be too inebriated and go back to doing what you were doing without too much worry. It depends on where your palate is and whether you're used to drinking beer or not. If you don't drink beer very much, uh, maybe six percenter would be enough to give you a buzz. Not this guy. Uh, I, like I said, I would buy this beer if I could get it here. I don't buy a lot of six percenters usually. Uh, when I go shopping, uh, they start at the 7% and up from there. So, but this has a lot of flavor and a lot of taste. So, uh, I would probably buy this beer. Final chug. A very nice representation of a low ABV, and I say low is 6%. Single hop Simcoe single. IPA. Uh, very tasty. A lot of hop aroma in here. Doesn't seem to have a whole lot of bitterness to it. Don't know what the IBUs are on it. I, to me, it tastes like it's in the 50 to 60 range. Maybe more than that. It's just my opinion from what I'm tasting. Doesn't seem to have a big bitterness on the back end. So, uh, Very, very tasty, guys. 9 out of 10 for me on this one. Uh, and if you say, oh my god, it's a 10 beer, I would not argue with that, guys. I'm going to give this a 98. So, uh, pretty close to a 10. Uh, and like I said, if you say it's a 10, I wouldn't argue with that one iota. Very tasty. The only reason I don't say it, it is a 10 because it's a low ABV. It's a 6 percenter, but it's done very, very well. So, uh, let's jump over to Beer Advocate. They say 4.22 out of 5. Uh, excellent numbers from them. They say it's in their exceptional range. I would agree. And Untapped, uh, they have it at 4.26. 
excellent numbers from those guys over there too so definitely an eight beer guys uh, if you can pick this up where you're at uh, i don't know if they distribute or if everything has to be done out of the brewery uh, but it's worth a try if you can get your hands on it and with them giving it like a five to six week shelf life you know you're getting a fresh beer absolutely so big 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 thumbs up to those guys at fire for giving us a hand on date and when they want us to have it by and it's not a very long shelf life so drink them fresh that's what i say guys so if you've had this one from hill farm said they're dharma bum let me know what you think guys can we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge